Well, good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to the Master of Chiropractic Science webinar. Uh, in this session, I'll provide some information about the program uh, for 2017. So to begin, um, my name's Mike Swain. I uh, am a chiropractor, graduated with the Master of Chiropractic in the class of 2004. Um, shortly after I started working with sports people, uh, sports injuries was a special interest of mine. And that led me to do some research in sports injury epidemiology. And following that, I began lecturing uh, at Macquarie University in the chiropractic department. And now I'm a full-time lecturer. And my research interests include um, studying musculoskeletal disorders in adolescence. So um, a slightly alternative career pathway for someone with a Master of Chiropractic. Uh, just something to keep in mind as I go through the particulars of the degree this evening. So chiropractic at Macquarie University, it was the, the world's first university-based chiropractic program. Uh, the Sydney College of Chiropractic amalgamated with Macquarie University in 1990 and it entered the university system as a bachelor's, master's degree. So According to the Australian Qualifications Framework, it's a Level 9 program, it's a Master's Level degree. And this is quite important as this means our graduates have specialised knowledge and skills for professional practice, research and further learning. And this is different to some of the other chiropractic programs that are on offer. Uh, our program at Macquarie University is an evidence-based program. Uh, research informs the teaching program heavily and we pride ourselves on being current with information that we deliver to students. And our programs in the accredited program, uh, so chiropractors, uh, sorry, students that graduate with a Master's of Chiropractic are eligible for registration uh, through the um, Chiropractic Board of Australia and they can practice in Australia and New Zealand. And we've also worked quite hard to ensure that our degree has a good level of portability. So graduates of ours can do further board examinations and practice in places like the United States and Canada and the UK and Europe. Um, so these are, these are some unique features for the Masters of Chiropractic program at Macquarie University. So a little about, a little about the pathways to chiropractic, to becoming a chiropractor at Macquarie University. So I'll just orient you to this uh, flow diagram here. So the pinnacle degree in um, our programs is the Master of Chiropractic. This is the accredited degree. Uh, if you receive one of these, you can practice as a chiropractor in Australia and New Zealand. So this is a 96 credit points program. It's a three year program full time and uh, it commences in session one, which is a February commencement. Uh, on a yearly basis, starting uh, 2017 next year for those of you interested. Now there's two, two pathways into the Master of Chiropractic program. The first one here is the Bachelor of Chiropractic Science pathway. And this is a 72 credit points program. It's a three year full time program that also commences in February. And this is a pre-clinical training program. So this has basic sciences, things like biology, chemistry, physics, physiology, a lot of anatomy, uh, and other, other subjects like diagnostics subjects, um, research methods, clinical reasoning, things of this nature. Um, the other pathway to get into the Masters of Chiropractic program, and, and the pathway that many people I'm sure are quite interested in, is the uh, Bachelor's Degree in Relevant Discipline pathway. So a relevant discipline might be something like medical science or health science, exercise physiology, physiotherapy, or also other chiropractic bachelor programs. These programs will uh, enable you to gain access into the Master of Chiropractic program. Now a little bit of information about these other bachelor programs. Now they need to be uh, an Australian Level 7 bachelor's qualification or an equivalent uh, that's recognised uh, in a relevant discipline. And these programs typically have to have a substantial uh, amount of anatomy and physiology in them. So in particular, introductory anatomy, musculoskeletal anatomy, and head and neck anatomy, as well as systems physiology and um, to a lesser extent neurophysiology. 
and also uh, the requirement is that um, entrants looking to study the Master of Chiropractic are required to have a GPA of 4.0 out of 7, which is roughly a pass average. Um, and so if you think that might be you, then by all means um, submit an application, uh, apply and we'll review. Now, a little bit about the duration of the course. So this is a internal program, so attendance mode is inter internal. You'll have to be based around the North Ryde Macquarie region and uh, attend classes. Following the entry pathways I've just spoken about, the Masters of Chiropractic program is a three-year full-time program for people that have a bachelor's degree in a relevant discipline. However, the duration of the course decreases um, depending on uh, the subjects that you've studied previously. Uh, for example, if you've studied the Bachelor of Chiropractic Science at Macquarie University, the master's program is only two years full-time duration. Or if you've got a cognate degree, so a similar Bachelor of Chiropractic Science, then, um, for example, um, the new Bachelor of Chiropractic Science that started up at CQU is um, surprisingly similar to the Macquarie Bachelor Program. So um, there's a lot of overlap there. So there, I, I believe there's increasing scope to have graduates from that bachelor's program into the two-year full-time program at Macquarie. Um, the 2.5-year full-time mode, this would just mean that uh, some of the subject areas that exist in the first year of the Masters of Chiropractic would um, receive recognised prior learning so that it wouldn't, um, your workload wouldn't be as high in the first year. So I'll just talk you through uh, how the program is structured uh, so you get some idea of the, the, the subject areas that will be studied in the, in the master's program. So the first year, this is the 600 level units, uh, the first of the three year program. Um, for those students that have a Bachelor of Chiropractic Science that was studied at Macquarie University, they will be skipping this year. This information um, was taught in the Bachelor of Chiropractic. Um, and so this would be relevant for other bachelor holders. And so we can see these units here, Chiropractic AB, Medical Sciences AB, Radiographic Sciences and Diagnostic Sciences. Now these are just names of units, but they don't really give you a good indication of what's in them. So I'll just talk you through this. These big units, chiropractic A and B with eight credit points. These largely consist of subject areas of chiropractic technique, uh, biomechanics and research methods. Medical sciences A and B are subjects that pertain to health, pathology and disease. And uh, uh, radiological sciences uh, and clinical sciences consist of units uh, or subject areas, medical radiation science, diagnostic skills and clinical reasoning. And so if you are a bachelor holder um, from a Cognate bachelor's program uh, or a relevant bachelor's program and you've studied some of these subject areas, then you may be eligible to recognise prior learning to cut the duration and indeed the cost of the master's program for you. Just in this first year, however. Okay, now into the second and third year. So with the second year of the program, um, the subject areas that you will be studying will include neurology and orthopaedics, chiropractic techniques and evidence-based practice, radiology and radiographic positioning, and clinic preparation, clinical decision making, and rehabilitation sciences. And the final year of the program consists of the clinical internship where under guidance students will care for members of the public. And I'll talk you about talk you through that a little bit more later in this webinar. Uh, the clinical chiropractic uh, units will include chiropractic technique, electrophysical therapies, and sports medicine. The diagnostic uh, diagnosis and management units consist of subject areas such as nutrition, pharmacology, mental health and public health. And topics in chiropractic include important subject areas like ethics, law and jurisprudence, business and communication skills, and also 
for the important research project. So in total, there's 64 credit points for the two years of the program and uh, the three years of the program will consist of 96 credit points. So the Masters of Chiropractic program is a professional training program and it includes clinical sciences, things like chiropractic, orthopedic, neurology, radiology, nutrition, health coaching, exercise therapy, and clinical skills. So it will prepare students for work as a chiropractor or perhaps um, alternative pathways, things like uh, case management, research, teaching type um, areas of work. And so these people will be allied health professionals out in the Australian healthcare system. And so the program uh, is evidence-based, so it will ensure that the, their knowledge is very relevant to the needs of the community so that our graduates tend to be quite sought after in that regard. So our graduates uh, tend to be career ready uh, and they're quite familiar with the code of conduct, uh, business skills and communication skills uh, among other traits. So a little bit about the clinical internship. So this is the, a final year practical um, where students will work with members of the public uh, and perform chiropractic procedures and, and function as a chiropractor managing their musculoskeletal disorders. The bulk of the clinical internship will occur on placements at the Macquarie University Chiropractic and Research Centres, which, of which there are three. These are well-established clinics uh, at, um, on campus here at Macquarie University, also at Eastwood and Summit Hill. Students are allocated to uh, one of the three locations or perhaps two of the locations and they will work there in shifts uh, during the final year of the program. In addition to that, they will do off-site work at specialist community service centres and two examples would be the Southern Cross Care Facility, um, an aged care facility, and also the West Gulf Gosford GP Super Clinic. Um, where there were some placements uh, in recent years. And so they get a broad case mix going to these particular um, locations. There's also field work activities. These are typically sporting placements uh, that are available usually over the weekends uh, throughout the year. Some examples would include working for Sydney Grammar School in their sports, and quite NFL and rugby placements, uh, Sydney Running Festival and uh, New South Wales Rowing. There was also um, surf lifesaving and, and um, uh, beach volleyball um, placements in recent times. And so our students, they see a broad range of people from the community, ranging from young people with musculoskeletal disorders to older people with musculoskeletal disorders. And the case mix includes things like chronic and acute pain syndrome, spinal disorders and extreme disorders. So Macquarie University has a number of world-class facilities. Uh, these are just some images of a few of them. We have um, state-of-the-art lecture theatres, anatomy labs, uh, a library, which you can see that's very beautiful on the right-hand side, and also um, learning areas, learning spaces. And the chiropractic facilities are no exception. They're purpose-built training rooms for the learning and teaching of chiropractors. So I'll talk you through just a few of the facilities. Our chiropractic technique laboratories, there's an image of the largest one there on the uh, right hand side of the slide. These uh, are rooms with a number of plinths and tables that you can see that are adjustable. This is the undergraduate skills rooms. You'll notice that in the undergraduate skills room, the tables don't have any segments to them. They're just flat plinths that um, go up and down. And in the centre of the room, there is a podium where an instructor teaches to the students. And there are a number of cameras that are mounted around the room. And you can see that there's monitors in the image there. And uh, this enables us to project the skills onto monitors so that you can get a, a closer look, potentially using uh, zooming in facilities with cameras um, to get a better understanding. We can also capture those recordings and, um, and we can post those recordings on the uh, student iLearn page, which is a web-based teaching platform that we use here at Macquarie University. 
So they're the chiropractic technique laboratories for our manual therapy skills. There's also specialty techniques rooms, or there's one specialty technique room. This has special tables in it. You can see an example there. There's a flexion distraction table. There's also drop piece tables. In this room, we have electrophysical therapy equipment and sports medicine uh, techniques and equipment uh, in this room also. So this room is typically used in the final year of the program uh, when we learn some of the more advanced techniques in chiropractic. We also have a multi-purpose room for the learning and teaching of radiographic positioning and rehabilitation and also other chiropractic techniques. Um, you can see there's some, do, uh, some Gonstead drop uh, knee chest tables in this, uh, in this image on slide 12. So in this room, uh, it's an open plan room. It's a, it's a portable space uh, that can be adapted for um, various learning and teaching requirements. And finally, we have a radiology and case workshop laboratory. Um, for those of you watching who were once in the chiropractic program many years ago, back when I was, we had the old Rad, Rad Lab. Uh, that was uh, down in the bottom of the E7A building. The Rad Lab these days is very different. It's high tech. There's computers at every workstation, and we still have some of the old um, x ray viewing boxes, which you can see the students using here in these images. Uh, there's also an interactive whiteboard uh, at the front of the room uh, where uh, our tutors and lecturers uh, typically um, can deliver interactive materials. So world-class facilities. Our program is also internationally recognised, uh, typically for excellence in chiropractic. Our graduates are, are sought after both here in Australia and elsewhere overseas. Uh, not only chiropractic skills, but also their diagnostic abilities. Uh, so we have a very established diagnosis and skills program. It's been through several iterations and it's continually upgraded on an ongoing basis. We review, reflect and improve. And we've been doing this for 25 years. So unlike some of the newer programs that have um, a few clunky elements to them in the establishment period, our program is typically quite smooth sailing um, with uh, um, well well-established uh, units of study. Now in the chiropractic units, uh, particularly the units that uh, spinal adjustment techniques are taught, we have a very unique style here at Macquarie University that's quite sought after. And so you can see the textbook we use. This is a technique manual, um, spinal adjustment technique, the chiropractic arts by Scott Phillips and, and Steve Esposito, edited by Aaron Downing. This is the core skills, I guess, for our program. This is a diversified skills, uh, and we have highly experienced tutors, demonstrators, and lecturers that deliver these uh, skills and content to students. And um, we typically work off quite, quite small um, student to teacher ratios in our program so that there's uh, a lot of one-on-one -on -one time when learning these important chiropractic skills. We also pride ourselves on having the highest number of technique hours out of any program uh, worldwide. There's over 600 hours of face-to-face -face or tutor-student, if you will, uh, learning and teaching time. And that's when we include both the bachelor's and the master's programs in the various units that their chiropractic skills are taught. And I've already mentioned that the skills are taught by highly experienced uh, specialists. These are people that have been teaching chiro chiropractic skills for many year. they have years. They have a broad background and travelled abroad to learn uh, many of these techniques and they've brought them back here and uh, have been working at Macquarie University for some time now. And all of this leads to us having highly capable graduates that are career ready, work ready when they graduate. Um, hands on skills part of chiropractic is very important um, and typically our graduates excel at this. I mentioned earlier that we have an evidence-based program and so research is an important part of the training program as well. Given that we are a master's level program, it's important that we have a strong final year research project and this also prepares graduates 
uh, who want to go on to do higher degrees by research. Things like the MRES program, which we have here at Macquarie University, it's, uh, it's a two-year program, but graduates of the Masters of Chiropractic only need to do the second year of that Masters program, given that a lot of the research training has occurred in both Bachelor's and Masters program here at Macquarie. So that's sort of the Bologna model. It's a very, very nice pathway to prepare yourself for PhD training. So we also have the capacity to um, take on doctoral students and train them up so that they can uh, gain a higher degree, which is quite important for the chiropractic profession, and we pride ourselves on this. So with regards to research in the program, uh, the majority of the academics, uh, both full-time uh, and increasingly the casual staff, are active researchers. And so I have a few of the active researchers here in these images on slide 14. And, and relative to opportunity and stage of career, we're quite successful at what we do in the research game. Um, we have won awards, we uh, both locally and internationally. Uh, so students are typically taught by people that are doing very well and uh, in research. And so there's some immediate translation from, uh, from knowledge creation to uh, healthcare training. Research is also important as it uh, guides best practice and then ensures that our graduates are relevant in the healthcare system. So what we have here is the um, national health priority areas for Australia. <clears throat> these are major uh, burdens of disease. These are conditions that um, influence the community greatly. And um, there's, back in 2002, a broad musculoskeletal uh, priority area was established and we see that chiropractic fits that need for the Australian public and so a lot of our research is directed towards musculoskeletal disorders and uh, is translated into learning and teaching in our program. We also have uh, a number of pioneering students and here's just a few of them. We encourage our students to present their work both uh, at state and uh, national conferences and also international conferences. So here are a few of our students that have taken up the opportunity. Uh, indeed, one of these students here travelled to Oslo earlier this year to present some of their work. So, and that was supported by the department. So we encourage our students to, to do these sorts of activities and to, to pioneer. This is one of the um, Edicts for Mantras of uh, Macquarie University and um, this also prepares them for alternative career pathways if they want to work beyond clinical practice and so I've got an image here uh, of a number of uh, chiropractors and a lot of these people worked in clinical practice for a period of time but then they went on to do other things in political activities, uh, working for the World Health Organization academia and also educational activities. Uh, so all these possibilities um, exist um, for graduates of our program. And community, both uh, locally and internationally, we uh, have well respect, we are a well respected um, program and our graduates are typically highly respected by industry. So here are a couple of our graduates receiving awards from the major associations in Australia, um, chiropractic industry, partners, if you will, and um, we have a large and vibrant alumni. Given that our program was uh, originated or was derived from the Sydney College of Chiropractic, the Chiropractic Alumni is a group of graduates from both the Sydney College of Chiropractic and the Department of Chiropractic at Macquarie University. And so there's a large peer network for graduates. Um, and again, uh, our graduates are, are well respected, large peer network, job opportunities, uh, and support structures for graduates. Importantly, in the program, we have uh, we generate a culture and a passion for learning. Uh, typically speaking, Macquarie University Master of Chiropractic students are lifelong learners. Uh, and this is an important skill to keep them abreast of current knowledge uh, 
as they work as healthcare clinicians uh, out in the public. And so it's a vibrant learning environment where students are bouncing ideas off one another the whole while. And during that time, really good and deep friendships are made. And so typically, people that study at Macquarie University make lifelong collegial networks. And um, that's a little bit formal. I like to think of it as also lifelong friends, uh, people that they can um, network with professionally and also socially thereafter. And so just to finish up, here's a picture of uh, a few of our most recent Master of Chiropractic students uh, celebrating their graduation. You can see they're a very close, close knit group uh, and having a really wonderful time together. And sort of, I think this, this, uh, this image really um, demonstrates or um, articulates how, illustrates how much fun students can also have while they're going through their journey of, um, of learning in the Master of Chiropractic program at Macquarie University. So that's, um, that's me all done. Uh, thank you guys for that. Uh, and now on to a few questions. Okay. So first question here, how many credits are transferable for someone who has studied Let's have a look here, the rest of this question. For someone who has studied exercise physiology at the University of New South Wales, will this degree cut any course time from first year? Um, so with regards to specific degrees, uh, the exercise physiology degree at the University of New South Wales, I can get back to you on the specific details. But in principle, if you've done things like neuroscience and neuroanatomy, um, some of the diagnostic units, then you are eligible for RPL in the first year of the three-year Masters of Chiropractic program. So that's a quite, quite a good question. Uh, and with regards to this sort of question, each individual's application will be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. So if you think you are eligible, uh, then certainly do highlight that and, um, and our assessors will be able to uh, get back to you with, uh, with an outcome. So the next question is, is there a part-time study mode available? And the answer is yes, there is. And this is actually a really good question. It's a really intensive program, uh, particularly in the second and third year. So, if people out there have uh, caregiving responsibilities or work responsibilities, then it's not a bad idea to do the course in part-time mode. And part-time mode can be, uh, if it's a three-year program, it can be four, or if you're just doing the two years, then it can be three or four years. So you can add a year or two onto it. And I think in the big, in the big scheme of things, given that it is quite an intensive program, it's actually a better option for, for some of the students. So the answer to that one, is there a part-time study mode? Yes, there is. And if you think that you would benefit from a slower mode of study, then by all means, that's available to you. Now, do we have any more questions? Hey guys, I'm just looking here. I'm not seeing any additional questions popping up just at the moment. So if, if you have questions, here we go. Here's another one. Um, okay, so this is from Sam. You mentioned Macquarie as having a unique style when it comes to a few of the techniques taught. If I've trained elsewhere from my undergraduate studies, will I be disadvantaged to students who did theirs at Macquarie going into the postgraduate program? Um, well, that's an interesting question, and I don't think I don't think so is, is the answer. So, if you're going, depends what year of the Masters of Chiropractic program you're going into. If you're going into the first year, there's technique in the first of the three years, and so you'll be brought up to speed, and you'll be um, you'll be able to if you will keep up or perhaps might be ahead of the Macquarie students. Um, 
If you go into the master's program, then your skills would have already been assessed as being cognate with the Bachelor of Chiropractic Science at Macquarie University. Therefore, you shouldn't be disadvantaged. Uh, we are quite um, we are quite open to providing additional assistance to students that we think need help. And technique is one of those important areas where if we see students that we think are having difficulty, we will make time to help develop their skills so that they aren't left behind. So that I think that's also uh, another, another, another principle um, for potential students. Okay, so there's another question here. Is it possible to be a health practitioner providing both exercise physiology and chiro services in the clinical field? And the answer is yes. We have a number of students come into the program who are exercise physiologists and they graduate as chiropractors, so they're registered as both exercise physiologists and chiropractors. And I think it's a really nice combination of degrees. There are certain services that exercise physiologists can provide that chiropractors can't. And so these people have um, a lot of strategic advantage in the marketplace. And so I think, yes, that's certainly they can, they can be registered in both. Okay, so another question here. Would you say it is relatively easy to transition into private practice after graduation? Um, so within our program, we train people up to meet the minimum standards of graduate competency, so minimum standards required to be an entry-level chiropractor. We also go beyond that in, in our opinion, um, being an AQF Level 9 program. Um, and a lot of the time our graduates do very, very well out in private practice, they hit the ground running. Um, but of course there are a few that will have difficulties um, uh, for a number of reasons. Would, it, would I say it's easy to transition into private practice? I think yes, um, uh, and unfortunately in some circumstances individuals have a bad um, experience and that's quite unfortunate for them. Next question. Would there be any exam required after graduation to register under the Chiropractic Board of Australia? And the answer is no. Our program here at Macquarie University is an accredited program. The Masters of Chiropractic is an accredited program. So once graduates uh, achieve the Masters program, then the Chiropractic Board of Australia is notified and then they're eligible for registration thereafter. So no additional uh, exam is required after graduation. The the final year um, exams are quite rigorous and they're I guess equivocal to board exams here in Australia. Okay, are there any other questions? Wonderful. We have another one here. In terms of both the chiropractic science undergraduate degree and the postgraduate master's program. Is it more practical based or written theory based or an even split? Um, so I would say probably 25% is uh, theory, uh, sorry, is practical based. So there are a lot of hours spent doing practical training. This isn't just the chiropractic technique, this is also things like diagnostic skills in orthopedics and in neurology in uh, radiographic uh, sciences. So there's a lot of practical or applied knowledge, but there is also, um, there is also quite a bit of uh, um, theoretical training as well. So the question here looks like it pertains to assessments. And at the end of each semester, most of the units of study will have a written exam. And there's usually three assessments in each unit of study or more, three, units, uh, three assessments or more in a given um, unit. And some of the assessments might be things like written assignments, um, review uh, projects, or um, case-based scenarios, things like that. Okay, next question. What are some of the academic require, requirements in order to progress and continue into a PhD of Cairo? Uh, is there a PhD of Cairo? So the PhD degree is, um, it can be 
you've done in the Department of Chiropractic, but it's not really in chiropractic unless you choose an area of study, for example, looking at a chiropractic intervention for a particular condition. So a PhD or a doctoral degree is somewhat of a generic degree that's delivered in a particular um, department and you can do a PhD on almost anything you want. Whether or not it's taken in the Department of Chiropractic, we chiropractors typically have uh, knowledge and skill in the area of musculoskeletal disorder. So people doing PhDs in our department typically study uh, musculoskeletal disorders uh, for their PhD work. Next question. On average, how many contact hours are spent each week for a full-time student? So it's really quite um, it's really quite intensive in the in the second year of the Master of Chiropractic program. It's upwards of um, 40 hours a week. Uh, it dropped back in the third year of the Masters of Chiropractic program to about 30, uh, and the first year is. Uh, approximately 30 hours as well. So it's quite intensive, uh, it's internal mode. Um, there, there's, there are some resources we have here at Macquarie University to minimize contact time. For example, all the lectures are recorded and uh, housed in an online uh, learning program called iLearn. The lectures are recorded by Echo360. So students have the, have the option of listening to lectures online, which means that if you've got, say, a couple of two-hour lectures in the morning, then you can do those lectures uh, elsewhere or potentially after hours. So there is, there is some flexibility in the estimate that I just gave. Okay, so there's a question here that asks, at which point in the degree do students start in the clinic? So the students will start to observe and do rotations in the clinic in the second year of the program. So if it's a three year program in the second year, in the second half of the year, students will start to go to the clinics and do observation and no hands on just at that point uh, and they will get a feel for the systems in place in the clinic. At the end of that year, um, over the summer break, students will start to work in the clinic uh, for their shifts and they will see patients and they will have hands-on time with patients. And so that is the third year of the program. So in the final year of the program, students will have hands-on time with patients in the clinical setting. Okay, so we have another question here on the info website. The course had outlines uh, that there will be a year-long prep placement at the university's own clinic. Uh, is there a chance, sorry, is there a chance that we can possibly practice outside of the university clinics? So all students will have to do some work, uh, the majority of work as a matter of fact, in the university clinics. So there's three university clinics and you, the, the bulk of the work is done in those clinics just because we have our supervisors there and all the insurance was in place in those particular um, settings. And then, as I mentioned, there was other settings, um, community settings, sports settings that we also use. As if you have a friend who's a chiropractor and you wanted to work in that setting, unfortunately our program doesn't allow for that. Um, we We have very well trained clinic supervisors, excellent clinic supervisors that are excellent chiropractors and so uh, we, have, um, we have some control over the standards and the quality of, of the supervision and training in those spaces at this time. Good question. Uh, in terms of techniques, in particular the GON said, does the department teach instruct it intensely or is it more of an overview? Um, so, with regards to the Gonstead techniques, it is a, um, it's a mode of, of delivering manual therapies. A lot of the theoretical basis behind it is not taught in the program, but the whole battery of skills um, are uh, 
taught in the program. So with regards to the GOMSTEB, the graduates will be technically very capable to perform uh, the GOMSTEB procedures. Uh, however, we've started to draw back on some of the theoretical content associated with that particular technique. Do Cairo's practice in hospital setting? Is a hospital setting a possible prac placement option? At this time, we don't have... Um, at this time, I don't believe Cairo's practice in hospitals, per se. Is there a hospital in the practical placement? At this time, no, there's not. There's not a hospital in the uh, practical training program. In the second and third year, Identical is sorry. Is the second and third year identical to the first and second year of the master's program? Okay, so I think this question is coming from a Bachelor of Chiropractic Science student. Traditionally, we've only had a two-year Masters of Chiropractic program and a one-year graduate diploma for students coming from other degrees. Now the Masters of Chiropractic program is a three-year program and the first year is equivocal to the graduate diploma. And so, yes, the second and third year is equivocal to the first and second year of past programs. Next question. Uh, how are the PRAC placement hours split? Uh, in my exercise physiology degree, we needed set hours. Uh, I with people from different conditions like uh, cardiovascular conditions, metabolic conditions, musculoskeletal conditions, etc. Um, we don't have a condition specific caseload mix uh, at this time, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, I'm not uh, one of the clinic's uh, staff, but uh, to the best of my knowledge, we don't have a caseload mix, but we do have minimum. Um, minimum consultation requirements in X-ray requirements to gain the x-ray license so 300 patient visits is what's required to pass the clinical components uh, and a number of uh, x-ray procedures as well next question how long will we spend on clinical practice in the third year so in third year you will spend uh, Similar amount of time as you did in the first two years. If you look at the three-year program, uh, in the Master of Chiropractic program, the first year is actually the most uh, practice intensive year because there's so many skills that need to be uh, caught up on to be comparable with the Bachelor of Chiropractic Science student. Um, and that's why that unit studies is an eight credit points unit because there's a high volume of work. And then the number of hours is quite similar in the second and third year program. Sorry, I think I might be misinterpreting the um, practical training and the clinical practice. So how long will you spend on clinical practice in third year? I believe it's um, two or three shifts per week. Each shift goes for about four hours and then there's also a reception shift between two and four hours. This is a rough estimate, but we can get you more information on the specifics of those um, if you'd like. Okay, so that looks like all the questions are answered. So thank you very much for everyone who joins me here this evening in this webinar. Really, really great that you could attend. Uh, if you could please uh, kindly just fill out a feedback questionnaire just uh, to let us know what you thought, that would be really great. I appreciate it. So, good evening, everyone, and thanks very much for attending. Bye for now.